today is my surgiversary, my one year surgiversary. I'm actually on my way to my follow up appointment. Craziness. Oh my gosh, it is so hot here today. I took the kids to um, play outside for a little bit. I had to lather them up in sunscreen and I swear we were out there maybe 45 minutes, but everybody was sweaty. Everyone's cheeks were all red. We went back in and got rehydrated and then, um, yeah, and then it was time for me to go. My, the people I work for are so sweet. Like, she let me go early so I could go to my appointment and make sure and just in case there's any traffic or anything. Like, it's so sweet. Oh, I just love them. Um, but yeah, this morning was awesome. Like, the kids were all really good, pretty well behaved. Um, I actually was doing exercises for a while when the baby was taking a nap and the other kids were um, having some quiet time watching a movie. Um, I did jumping jacks, which I do not suggest if you have a lot of extra skin. That hurt. That did not feel very good, so jumping jacks are no-no. I did some burpees, which I'm surprised that I can even do. Um, I did some regular sit-ups, but that kind of hurts my tailbone, so then I did like side-to-side -side crunches. And what else did I do? Oh, and I did push-ups today. Mm -hmm, feeling good. Feeling fit. I have been drinking a buttload of water since it's so hot. This is my uh, new whatever water bottle that I got, and it's 24 ounces, and I have already drank three of them, so I'm doing good so far. Um, yeah, it's 2.04 right now. Um, yeah, just hauling my butt to the cities because I kind of live far away. Uh, but yeah, I'm super excited. I cannot even believe that it is my one year surgiversary. Like, the months leading up to surgery feel like a year, and then I swear after the first two months, once you're starting to feel like a normal person again, the time absolutely flies by. It is insane. And my high weight um, ever, which was February of 2016, I weighed 333 pounds a day of surgery. So last year, exactly one year ago, I was 281. And we'll see what I weigh in. I'm guessing about 170 after the weekend of craziness and uh, 4th of July holiday stuff. But the lowest I've seen on the scale is 167 and I would like to get to 165. So I'm very close to my goal. And if I get a little bit smaller than that, good. But I don't want to get too skinny either. Um, I'm pretty happy with like top half except for some loose skin under my arms and whatever My bottom half could still lose a little wiggle jiggle on those thighs. There's a lot of extra skin But there's still fat there my tummy. I'm pretty happy with I would like to tone it up a little bit more, but Very 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 happy that I did this uh, Yeah, one year ago changed my life in a dramatic way. I still have anxiety. I still have life issues but just the confidence that I get from not being huge is amazing. Like before I was, I've always had like a little social anxiety and I've had regular anxiety and whatever, but I always felt like I was the biggest person in the room and that drew extra attention to me. So now it helps me tremendously. <laughs> like the social anxiety didn't just go away, but it takes a huge burden off of me to like be able to like blend in and be a normal person and just not not stand out in a crowd. I don't want to. So that makes me super excited. Um, I will fill you guys in later after my appointment. Um, yeah, I'm excited. It's, it's a good day so far. I love you guys and thank you for being a part of this journey with me. Thanks for supporting me. Talk to you later. Bye. Hi guys, sorry if it's all shadowy and weird. I am on my way back from my one year post-op appointment and it went really good. Um, I actually weigh less than they thought I would get to. Um, they had, hold on, a chart with a nice little green line and I guess that's the weight that they thought I would be at. And I was below that line already, which, crazy, crazy, crazy. Hold on one second.
Okay, hopefully you can actually see me, but whatever. So I um, had to meet with a new surgeon because my surgeon retired. So I was thinking that this guy was going to be younger for some reason. He seems like he's at retirement age also. I don't know. But he was very nice. Um, he said that I am no longer in the obese category and that I am just like a little bit overweight. He goes, you know, if you want to lose a little bit more otherwise, he goes, you could work on maintaining but he was kind of cool with the weight that I was at for my body type and whatever. He, he said that they were very proud of me and that I did a good job. And I was like, yeah, that's exactly what I wanted to hear. So it put me in a really good mood this morning. Uh, when I weighed in, I was like 170 point something. So I guessed it. Um, and then today, oh my gosh, I've been working so hard to get my water in. I've already had like four of these 24 ounce things. Um, but yeah, after my appointment, it's so hard for me because there's like a super target and then a big Kohl's and we didn't go to Target because we have a Target in the town that I live in but um I went to Kohl's and I got some really 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 good deals I got oh my gosh I got super good deals like I think it said that I saved like four hundred dollars <laughs> my bill was like a hundred and something and then I had a 20% off your total purchase so that was awesome Callie did not like hanging out uh, while I tried on a bunch of clothes, but oh, the struggle is real. Nothing fits properly anymore. I tried on so many bras today. So many bras. And I'm pretty sure now that my, um, not cup size, oh lord, I can't even think. The around you part is probably at like a 32 now. It's crazy. It's just weird. I put on the 34s and I buckle them all the way the tightest that they are. I don't know what size my boobs actually are. I've been getting 34 Ds and they, they work, but I don't know. It's like I just have skin, but there's too much skin to shove into a C or a bed. I don't know. It's just weird. Weird, weird deflated boobs. Things that you deal with after surgery. I don't know. I'm just rambling. Um... Yes, it is still very, 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 very hot. Oh, I hate living in a house that does not have sexual air conditioning. It may sound kind of diva-ish of me, but all our bedrooms are upstairs and it gets so hot. We have one like portable air conditioning unit in our bedroom and a fan in Callie's bedroom and we can like blow a fan from our bedroom to cool the air over, but usually at night we like open up her window so that the cooler air can come in but oh just it's too hot up there i hate it Blah. but i'm very very happy with where i am and my progress i wish that i was down a couple more pounds i was like Ugh. i was down lower before my camping trip but yeah, things happen life happens whatever but i was glad to see that they were super happy with my progress and all my lab work looked good so i'm a happy camper taking your vitamins it's a good thing um yeah my dietitian was happy with me she said that, that I'm right on track so yay talk to you later bye go okay see if you can see all of me my hat and my feet I can't see everything okay keep it there this is my one year from surgery front It worked. Hi guys. Sorry. Um, today and yesterday have just been insane. It's Friday, d July something. What was the 4th of July? I don't know. Friday after the 4th of July. Um, it's 9.22 p.m. Me and little Munchkin are just getting back home. We had to run to Walmart quick last night after work and then going to the cities for my doctor appointment and everything and maybe shopping at Kohl's a tiny little bit after my appointment. But anyway, I didn't get home till 7.30 last night and then I still had to make supper after that and do everything, so it's been very crazy. But yesterday I made a short little video. Maybe this will go at the end of that. But I'm working on um, 
like different pictures and videos of the progress of from my heaviest to now. So that will be up soon. But sorry guys, life has just been insane. I had to be at work yesterday and today at 6 in the morning. And even though I love what I do, it's a little bit exhausting when you're taking care of five kids under the age of eight at six in the morning till whenever, kind of. But I still love it. Absolutely. Just some days are exhausting. Um, there's a bug in the car. Blech. Anyway, just got home. Got to bring in the milk and other stuff we had to get. Oh, I'm hoping that I can be really good with my food this weekend and get back down to a good weight. My weight, like... Yesterday I did really good with food. I don't even remember. Today I've been really good with food, but the scale just is not budging. I'm like, come on, come on. But I've kind of, I was getting kind of dehydrated and now I'm rehydrating. So I don't know. I don't know what all of the weight is, but it's not good. I want it gone. Get out of here. Um. Anyway, it's the start of the weekend. Yay. I'm excited. Um, I think we're actually going to go to church tomorrow, go to potluck, which is hard for me to resist the deliciousness at potluck usually, but I will try. I shall try. Uh, yeah, hope you guys have a wonderful weekend, and I hope that I can get up the other video soon, but anyway, talk to you guys later. Love you. Bye. Sorry, forgot one more thing. Um, if you guys like like oh what is it called like the dill pickle potato chips look what i found these are sea salt and vinegar peanuts yay they are delicious i love them i just got them um for when we were going up north camping when i tried a little handful the other day i was like oh my gosh so good so an alternative if you like those chips yummy 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 talk to you later bye bye